This is Ray Carnicelli with NorthFloridaLacrosse.com, and I'm here with two of the pioneers of JU Lacrosse, Cam Mann and TJ Canary. Guys, thanks for joining us this afternoon. So you're back in school, and things are ready to go, starting fall practice. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you did this summer. Cam, as far as lacrosse-wise, what, what was your involvement in playing some tournaments, having some fun? Uh, going home for the summer, I'm usually pretty busy. Uh, I play indoor back home, so I was playing in my senior A, a league, which gives me a good experience, keeps me busy kind of keeps me in shape. But all indoor? Yep, all indoor. I didn't play any field. I went down to the Ocean City tournament the weekend before we came back here. So that was fun. A bunch of the guys from the team went up there and we all kind of just were hanging out and having a couple good laughs up there. So How'd you guys do? Uh, we did alright. We made it to the playoff round, which is the furthest uh, Team Chesapeake, the team we were playing for, has been. But then we ended up getting knocked out to a bunch of old timers that have been playing the Old timers? Well. What's old timers? <laughs> uh, they are uh, Baltimore yeah, they're a pickup team put together. And we're talking old, groups. like 30? Uh, yeah, probably around 30, oh, 40. Got ancient guys. Yeah. Old guys. TJ, you went down as well? Uh, yep, I was on Team Chesapeake. It was awesome. Uh, other than that, I didn't play too much lacrosse. I did about once a week. I played with some of the Armadillos guys for the pickup games. Um, other than that, just kind of weight room. <laughs> yep. As far as school going, any, any school in the summer? For either one of you? No. Nope. I know you and I talked the other day at the indoor game, and you said that uh, you're on a, uh, an education program, which is a five-year program. Yep. And you're both seniors, been here for three years, going into your fourth year. And just so everyone knows, these are uh, two of the leaders in just about every offensive category in JU lacrosse history. Uh, Cam's got uh, the, the record for points, uh, assists. And uh, Matt, they're both tied for most man-up goals in, in team history. I don't know if you guys knew that. And TJ's got the record right now for goals, but uh, they're within three or four of each other. So we'll see how that goes this year. <laughs> as far as the uh, your your careers at Jacksonville University, you guys are seniors. You're here from the beginning. A lot has changed, uh, but on the field, it, it comes down to scoring more than the other team. And talk to me, Cam, first about some of the lessons you've learned from when you first showed up at Jacksonville University as a freshman. Uh, how, you, how you're preparing for your senior season as opposed to that first freshman season? Uh, it's kind of funny, we were actually talking about this the other day, but um, it's just, it's different. Coming in as a freshman, you don't really, you didn't know what to expect. And it was a lot easier coming in and there was 35 of us compared to a different school that might have five or six. So coming in, we kind of just, we had an open, open head to it and we were just letting whatever happened, happen basically. This year coming in, this is the first time we've actually had a real senior class. We've all been here for three years now. So we're real excited. Uh, I think it's a whole different tempo, a whole different mindset down on the field. When we go out there, we're ready to rock. We don't want to leave our JU careers without having a ring on our fingers. So to us, that's the main goal, but we're taking it day by day, and that's the mindset we all have. And TJ, for you, uh, the way I look at it, from that year one, and I've watched you guys from the beginning, there, there's been a prog progression, but it seems like three steps forward, one step back, and it seems like this is the year where everything's lined up to take that next step, win the MAC, and then take it from there. Right. I think we all saw freshman year what we were kind of capable of as a team. Um, we had some big wins that year and then some kind of crappy losses, but uh, I think this year we're kind of zoning in on really trying to, I guess, capture our potential as a team. Two years ago, your, your sophomore year, you guys went to the MAC tournament, um, had a, had a Good season, a lot of close games, competitive in just about every game. Last year was a bizarre season with a bizarre ending. Yeah. Uh, you guys know, everyone knows that the MAC conference is going to be competitive, and it comes down to one play, a few few decisions. And last year it seemed like there was a, an eight-minute stretch in the Detroit game that made all the difference in the year. Eight eight minutes. I think you guys were up four or five goals with eight minutes to go. They went on a rally. You guys tried to fight back, but. With, the last eight minutes of the game, I think, we might have been scoreless. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was a tough game for us. That was kind of a, a tough weekend in general. Um, it was, I mean, we just let it slip. We were feeling good the whole game. We had a pretty good lead, and then I don't know what happened. We well, just couldn't hit the net. 2012 season, um, you learn from it. You guys are seniors, ready to move on. Yep. 2013 is here. A lot of new faces out there. Do you know all the names yet? Uh, we know most of the names, a lot of guys by their nicknames. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. And the, the guys who shine a little bit, you learn their names faster. Don't yeah, you? A, little, a little quicker. You start asking for the ball. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, fall ball practice, uh, have you been on the field as a group yet? 
Uh, we've been doing individuals. We had one team practice last week. Okay, so I know that uh, there's a, a scrimmage plan against Tampa, and there'll be more news on the fall program, and we'll be following it, doing some blogging, doing some in-game blogs, and uh, hopefully some more interviews. But uh, just tell me about, uh, Cam, you and I talked before about your, your decision to come to Jacksonville. What has it been like as far as uh, coming from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, to Northeast Florida? Had you been to Florida before? No, the first time, my first time ever getting off a plane in Florida was on my recruiting visit with Coach Gerwick, so it was interesting. Now that you've uh, spent plenty of time in Jacksonville Beach and out at the beaches on the Atlantic Ocean in Florida, tell me your perception of Jacksonville University as a campus and just the, the region um, as far as how it's been for you to adjust. Um, a lot of guys, you talk to a lot of guys about their experience here and some, it's ups and downs. And but like I, I always say, anytime anybody asks me about it, J Jacksonville University is whatever you make it. So and I can ask for anything more. I love it down here. I love the weather. I love the guys that we play with. I love the coaching staff, the team, and just coming in with 35 freshmen. I don't think many guys get to experience something like that. Having 35 guys in your class and the bonds you make and the team that we had that year and moving forward. And now we're in our last year. It's just look back on it. And I don't have any regrets. TJ, I was talking to one of your teammates, I won't say his name, but his, his, uh, he's a goalie and his last name rhymes with Aluka, okay. and he wanted to know, how did you two overcome the language barrier, you being from Georgia and you being from uh, Canada? Um, no, I'm no. just kidding. <laughs> Peter didn't ask that, but would that have been a surprise? No, 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 no. no. He, he's a tremendous goalie. I want to talk a little bit about Pete Deluca because he, for coming in as a kid, I mean, basically a kid, very intelligent, very commanding on the field. His on-field persona seems a little different from his off-field persona, but he is a he is a top-notch goalie in Division One lacrosse. He is. He's a bright kid. I mean, what's his major? He's going to be a doctor, I think, in some sort of field. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I mean, you can see it on the field too. He's just on top of everything on the defense. He sees the whole field. Um, I mean. He's a great goalie. <laughs> and, um, and that, that's an important thing. He's going to have the opportunity to be uh, probably a, a four-year starter. And in Division One lacrosse, you see those guys as they develop, these goalies, big, strong, fast, smart kids, and they learn the game and they learn how to be that quarterback out there. And I expect really good things from, from the entire defense led by Pete DeLuca. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to do a little bit of word association. I'm going to throw some names and terms out there and just uh, give me your what co first comes to mind. Remember, uh, your parents may be watching. <laughs> Cam, NHL lockout. Terrible. Terrible? Just terrible. I, I still go to bed thinking about it at night. <laughs> if it happens again, I don't know what I'm going to do. TJ, did you play any hockey growing up? I did. I thought, I thought you may have. Have you two been on the ice together? We have. The one rink in Jacksonville. Yeah. Well, we're we're going to get well, we're gonna have to get you out there. we yeah. got some connections. We'll get you some ice time. <laughs> Talk any smack. Do you think he has any game being from Georgia? Uh, I've seen his hands on lacrosse field, so he might have a little bit, but I might have to <laughs> ruffle his feathers a little bit. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> as far as uh, Sunshine Classic? Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. I mean, for Jacksonville, it's like being, being able to play on national television, I mean, it's huge, I would say just for the exposure for JU, for recruits, for just our whole program in general. Cam, I, I ran the numbers and I, I looked at the times that you and Ari Waffle connected with each other for goals and assists last year. And I, I don't know what it is, but there seems, as the season developed, it developed more and more, but there seemed to be a connection. Did you feel that with Ari? Yeah, we said from day one, him coming from the upstate New York area, and then I kind of saw him play a little bit. and. They're, if you talk to anybody about Canadians in that still way, you always hear that they're good in tight spaces because of the box game and things like that. And Ari's got a lot of those characteristics that are good in the box game. So it's anytime I'm kind of going in the net, I know that if I can throw it in by his ear, he's going to catch it and put it in the net. So. And, and it seems, it's, watching you two play together, part of it's vision and part of it's anticipation. And having that feel for the style of play of both of you, you could just see it out there, especially. Your, your man up group last year, what a tremendous improvement from 2011 to 2012. How fun was it playing with that group on man up because it looked good? I mean, it was awesome. Uh, basically, like you said, if you see Waffle on the crease with even an inch of space and you toss it to him, he'll pretty much 99% of the time be able to do some crazy move and catch it and score. And if they're not, <laughs> if the goalie's not covering that cross crease pass, it seems like uh, you and uh, Ari yeah. are managed to, to find it and then with the you know big slingers out top and uh, TJ running the show down low and, and up top uh, the, the man up was tremendous 
Uh, your defense, the close defense particularly, big, strong, tough kids. I, I look at those guys and I, I th watch some of the checks they throw, and when the, the flag's not thrown, <laughs> did they beat you up a little bit in practice, or they uh, tone it down? Uh, no, I mean, they go pretty hard in practice, I would say. Uh, Tell me about some of the guys on defense. Like, Who do you who do you anticipate going up with, just because you know it's going to be an intense challenge when you're going one-on-one? -on -one? In practice? Yeah. Um, I would say Benny. Yeah. Um, Benny, for sure, number one. Um, he's just a big, strong kid, and you better make sure your elbow pads are on right when you're going against him. Same with uh, like Tanner Guard, same thing. Just they know how to come down hard. <laughs> yeah, and it was a tremendous season. Uh, shot clock, what do you know about it and what do you expect to uh, learn about it? Uh, I know a lot about it since I've been playing box since I was four years old. So I know a lot about the 30 second shot clock. I've never seen it in the field game except in that model. So I think it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it, teams react to it. I know it's going to be a whole different game plan for coaches now. Once in a while you'll run into a player who holds the ball pretending he doesn't know the shot clock's ready to expire just so he's the one with the ball when it's time to get that shot. But I expect the tempo to be uh, up pace. It has to be somewhat just because of the shot clock and I think most likely you guys are going to spend some time on that in, in the fall. Uh, the, the fall season, what, what's your, what are your goals for the fall? Um, I think our biggest goal is probably just work on, I mean, we have 18 freshmen coming in, so we got to build some sort of unity within us this fall um, going forward to the season because I think uh, a good amount of them are going to be able to contribute. So we just got to pretty much learn each other's style of play and be able to feed off each other. Well, there's going to be some practices. I, I look forward to getting out and watching you guys in the fall practice and reporting back on NorthFloridaLacrosse.com on some of what I've seen. And we hope to do some uh, in-game blogs from, uh, from your scrimmages, inter-squad scrimmages, and uh, I believe the game against Tampa. When do you expect the schedule to be released? You see them start to trickle out throughout Division I. Do you think it's going to be uh, weeks, months? Um, from what I've heard is the schedule's done. It's complete. We've uh, added the Notre Dame scrimmage in the spring again. So that uh, makes a lot of guys pretty happy that we get to play one of the, another top-ranked team. You know, it was so, a great event last year down yeah. in Orlando. You guys really showed what you were made of against a top-notch team. Yeah. So, but I, uh, I expect the schedule will come out in the next couple weeks. I think they're just fine-tuning a couple of the games. So hopefully they can get it out so that the parents and fans can start making arrangements to come down. Well, I appreciate you joining me today. I want to thank everyone for listening. This is Ray Carnicelli from NorthFloridaLacrosse.com, and we'll be back soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh,